It is Wednesday, October 7th, 2020, and you are tuned into Dirt Tracker Daily. I'm Justin Fiedler. Last night was the opener for the Dirt Car Oktoberfest week for the Northeast Divisions. The Super Dirt Car Series took on Albany Saratoga Speedway, along with the Dirt Car Sportsman Modifieds and Dirt Car Pro Stocks. There were 41 big block modifieds on the property, with the field consisting of the biggest names in the Northeast, including guys like Stuart Friesen, Matt Shepard, Larry White, and many others. Ronnie Johnson led the 60-lap big, uh, big block feature to the green and he was quickly to the lead on the start, with second starting Anthony Perego settling in behind him. The top two didn't change as laps ticked off, but racing was busy behind them. Drivers like Mike Mahaney and Larry White were on the move from the start, and Mahaney was a top five runner late in the going from 11th. Inside five laps to go, things out front started to tighten up between Johnson and Perego. Johnson rolling the top, and Perego stuck to the bottom. With two laps to go, Perego got a big run off turn two and was able to clear Johnson for the lead down the back stretch. The slider line Line into turn three for Perego shut the door on Johnson and Perego drove away to the $7,500 win. Mike Mahaney also slipped by the RJ2 to take second with Johnson settling for third. Kenny Tremont was fourth and Larry White finished fifth up from 15th. It was good clean racing all race long and a late lead change for the win was a great way to kick off the week for the big blocks. As for the other racing on the night, Garrison Krentz led the Sportsman Modified feature to the green flag, and he held on out front until a restart with six laps to go. Krentz was under fire before the caution from Travis Bruno and Tim Hartman Jr., and on the restart, 12th starting Hartman rolled the top side to take the top spot from Krentz. Hartman drove away over the remaining laps to earn the $1,000 victory. Andrew Buff finished second, Travis Bruno third, Garrison Krentz faded to fourth, and Mike Fowler finished fifth. In the night's Pro Stock feature, seven starting Nick Stone rolled the bottom to the front, grabbing the lead on lap nine of the 25 lapper, and he never looked back. Stone took the $1,000 win over Devin Kamengay, who drove up from 15th. Scott Townsley, Chad Jessio, and Kim Duell rounded out the top five. Luke Horning and Josh Coonrat were second and third late in the race, but the two made contact and both ended up spinning up over the turn, uh, up over turn one with only a handful of laps left. World Racing Group CEO Brian Carter actually bought a pro stock a few years back, and he's competing in a few races this week. He finished 14th last night in his number 6C machine. Dirt Car Oktoberfest continues tonight with racing moving over to Utica Rome Speedway. The Super Dirt Car Series is in action for another 60 lapper and $7,500 to win. The Dirt Car 358 Modifieds will race 40 laps for $4,000 to win and the Pro Stocks are back for 25 laps and $1,000 to win. While no fans are allowed all week, Dirt Vision has live streaming coverage with your Fast Pass. It was really fun last night. Uh, certainly, uh, you know, I've talked about this before, but certainly love a little bit of midweek dirt action. Uh, kind of a nice way to uh, break, up, break up the week a little bit. And especially right now, it seems like, you know, everything's kind of starting to wind down. But to get some nice midweek shows is, is super fun. And, and uh, like I mentioned yesterday, this is a, a good opportunity for those Northeast divisions to kind of be able to take center stage on a week where there's not much competition. So I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people that are going to get exposed to some Northeast racing this week uh, where maybe they wouldn't normally do that. Um, but again, if you have a fast pass on Dirt Vision, definitely recommend checking out the racing all week. Uh, we'll continue to update results and, and recap things as the week continues. Moving over to some news. I don't think I mentioned this on the show when it was announced, but the organizers of the annual Wild West Shootout miniseries out west for late models and modifieds that takes place in January have announced the addition of an early season sprint car event they are calling the Wild Wing Shootout. Running January 22nd through 24th, 2021, the event at Arizona Speedway will, uh, will feature 410 sprint cars and IMCA modifies. The Friday portion will pay $7,000 to the sprint car winner, while Saturday and Sunday will each pay $10,000 to the winner. Chris Kearns and Arizona Speedway's Jonah Trussell are promoting the event, while Tommy Estes and Doug Lockwood will oversee competition all weekend. Schaefer's Oil and O'Reilly Auto Parts have signed on as event sponsors. We haven't had an early season sprint car event like this for a few years, going back to winter heat at Cocopa Speedway. With racing not happening elsewhere, I'd expect a decent field of cars to be in attendance. Um, I think you'll, you'll get some guys to tow out from out east. And there'll be plenty of guys from California and, and the West Coast that will show up to that event as well. So uh, I would expect a nice couple of fields uh, for those race nights. Uh, if you'd like more information, you can check out wildwingshootout.com. After a successful early season trip down to the south, the Short Track Super Series Modifieds will again travel down to Louisiana for three race nights in November. On the 11th and 12th, competitors will hit up Arkla Tech Speedway for two shows, paying $4,000 and $5,000 to win respectively, before rolling into Chatham Speedway 
Speedway on November 13th and 14th. Uh, November 13th will be a qualifying night, and then the 100 lapper on Saturday at Chatham will pay $20,000 to the winner. The events will allow fans, and live streaming coverage will be available from Dirt Track Digest through speedsport.tv. If you'd like more information, you can visit shorttracksuperseries.com. If you're looking for other podcasts to help get you through the work week, there are plenty of new episodes available at dirttracker.com slash podcasts. Winged Nation, which I got to fill on in yesterday with Steve Post, has Anthony Macri and Donnie Schatz. Swap Talk has Brian Shirley. TJ Slideways has Cap Henry and Brian Liskai. Ohio Dirt is talking to Jimmy Fitzwater. Quick Time has Amber Balkin. And there are new episodes of The Dirt Nerds, Wednesdays with Wayne, and Passing Points. Passing Points I just added here within the last week or so. The full list of shows and episodes along with links to watch is available at dirttracker.com by clicking on podcasts in the navigation. There are again two items on the daily screen, uh, streaming schedule today. Flow Racing has USAC 24-7 and Dirt Vision has night two of October fast action from Utica Rome Speedway like I just mentioned. If you'd like to see the full list with links to watch, you can check that out at dirttracker.com slash watch tonight. Uh, certainly appreciate yesterday, uh, everybody yesterday that, um, you know, follow Dirt Tracker, listen to some episodes, things like that. The you know, getting to, to be on Wing Nation is uh, is certainly a, a really fun opportunity and certainly appreciate Steve and, and Craig Moore for inviting me over to do that. It was my second opportunity to do that. But it's nice to be able to kind of expose Dirt Tracker to some new people and, and uh, continue uh, letting folks know about what Dirt Tracker is and, and all that, you know, there is to offer between the site and, the, and the, you know, the basically two different podcasts at this point. So uh, appreciate everybody, the, the new followers and the retweets and, and all of that stuff that happened yesterday based on that. So thanks to all of the new people. If you're new here, uh, certainly appreciate you tuning in and, uh, you know, would hope that you would continue doing so. So, um, and if you haven't, check out dirttracker.com, uh, you know, updated news there all day. You know, there's a stat section points uh videos podcasts there's a track section you know there's there's a ton of information available on dirt tracker and that updates all the time so plenty of new stuff to see there as well so again if you're new here welcome uh, certainly glad to have you uh, that's it for the show today you can find dirt tracker daily on apple Podcasts, spotify stitcher or where you get podcasts please subscribe and leave a review you can also watch the show every day on youtube and facebook you can email the show at info at dirt tracker.com and you can follow along at facebook.com slash dirt tracker twitter dot com slash dirt tracker and the website itself dirt tracker.com you can follow me personally on twitter at justin underscore feedler and don't forget to sign up for the dirt tracker weekly newsletter uh, that's just a few bullet points that i send out once a week uh, you know some you know uh, maybe a cool video a, a new podcast episode uh, you know a big event coming up that you should check out all kinds of different things get shared in that newsletter so check that out if you haven't um, and again once a week no ads not selling your email address to anybody just uh, just a short little hit to uh, keep you updated on what's going on so thanks everybody for tuning in today. That's the show. We'll see you tomorrow for more Dirt Tracker Daily.